how to clean install macOS Big Sur from a bootable USB uh, drive. Awesome for tuning in guys. Uh, one thing you should have for preparation is a USB stick similar to this. This can uh, do both the normal USB and the USB-C. There's an adapter included. Something like this can be very handy. If you do want uh, do, to do a fresh install, you may know uh, they're basically either you download the macOS Mojave just from the App Store and then it downloads. And once it's downloaded, you can just start the install. That's the normal way most people do it but it can also be beneficial to work with the USB stick method because if you just download macOS from the App Store and uh, download it from the internet and then install it directly on the system, the system is not wiped clean. It's not a true fresh install, but with the USB stick method, uh, you can wipe the whole system and to do a quick and easy fresh install right from USB. So. Excellent, we jump to part two. The first thing that you also can consider is uh, if you still have data on the MacBook, take an external drive. If it's big files and uh, let's say you have iMovie files or something that's a lot of data, you can copy that on an external drive. Uh, other stuff like email or photos should be in your iCloud account anyway and will resync once we have reinstalled the system. If at any point in time you have having troubles, you can refer to this support article, which I link below and which we will be using throughout this tutorial. So first things we're going to do, we're going to go to the App Store and in there we're going to type macOS Big Sur and then you click download. It's a bigger file than the Catalina was. You can go open up your finder and go to the applications folder. And here you can see macOS Catalina used to be like eight gigs and macOS Big Sur has become larger, about 12 gigs. So get, go to the support article, scroll down, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy one command that Apple recommends we're gonna use, which I have used actually a hundred times, which works very reliable, and you copy almost all of it until this last part right here. Then you press Command C to the clipboard, once you have copied that command into the clipboard, you go again to the finder, applications folder, and then system utilities. And in system utilities, we're gonna open up the terminal. And in the terminal, you can pass in this command. Very useful, quick and easy to do. So next up, we're gonna uh, put in the USB drive, also very easy. And once you've done that, this USB drive should show up in your system. I went through the process already. Um, one thing you can do is in the utilities folder uh, to open up uh, the disk utility because the disk utility can be useful. Because basically what we're gonna do with this command in the terminal is we're gonna override the USB uh, stick completely and you wanna make sure that you're selecting the right drive. So you see volumes is just a designator for the drive and here the name basically would be your usb stick xyz samsung usb stick uh, sandisk usb stick and that we can type up here so i just type the first three letters and then hit the tab key and it will fill that automatically for you then you just hit return type your system password this is just a security measure you overriding a, uh, you can override drives with that external drives internal drives so you want to make sure that you really pick the USB stick. That's why this disk utility is kind of useful for that. And then it will ask you also for security reasons a second time. So I have done this already. So that's why it has renamed the USB stick Big Sur. If I put push yes, which I would do right now, it would uh, redo the process. So that concludes the creation of the USB stick. Excellent, right now we have created the bootable USB drive and we jump to part three and now I'm gonna show you how to actually install it. So we have to, when we turn on the Mac, push a key on the keyboard and that varies based on whether you have an older Mac model or you have a newer Mac model. So that's what I'm showing to you here in the side card. Um, I'm gonna use the second method because I have a newer generation MacBook Pro. Now what we're gonna do is, since this is the newer Mac model, I'm just gonna press Command R like I told you, and that will enable you to boot into a recovery mode on the system. And uh, with your password, which we're gonna type in here, we can then uh, temporarily change the settings of the TC T2 security chip 
to allow to boot from the USB. So you now select the startup security utility and in here you can basically see what the TE2 security chip does to lock down your system. And uh, we just temporarily gonna uh, disable this because we want to install fresh from the USB. And once you have done that, you just close and then you go here and you click shut down. And because we did all the prep work to do the fresh install, we can now just hit the option key and then it will give us, after we put in the password, the option to, do, to boot either internally or from the USB drive that we created. And as you can see here, I punched in the password and now I have two options. Either I'm gonna boot from the internal uh, drive that's in a Mac Pro, where I still have the Catalina install, or I can use the Big, the big Sur. And it can happen that it still asks for another update and then you make sure that uh, it's also connected via the Wi-Fi. And guys, uh, this is really uh, starting to become a little bit more cumbersome process. The system was rebooting a couple of times doing the updates and uh, now I can finally install from the USB stick. So this is our USB stick. This is the temporary installer and here we have the drive, the system drive, the internal drive. That's what we want to erase completely. So I like to call this just Mac. So I know this is my system position and I'm going to hit erase. So now it's deleting the internal disk. It might prompt you for a password yet again. So whole super triple quadruple security. And since I deleted the internal drive internally, everything is empty. I can close this window and go to the installer and then install from the USB onto the internal completely factory deleted drive. And here guys, uh, you can do a normal installation this is now the easy part. This is the USB stick right here. And here you have the completely deleted fresh, a fresh drive where you can do a completely fresh install on. And from here on out, it's fairly easy. You just click to the language settings and what other settings you have. Uh, just run through the installation, maybe uh, sign up with your iCloud, get that ready, program this touch ID with your finger. It's also something that the new MacBooks have. And before you know it, the system is installed and up and running. Excellent. And then we jump right now to the conclusion part. And guys, I have shown you how to create this bootable USB drive. Very useful to install your Mac fresh. And um, we did um, do a complete wipe of this MacBook Pro and put a complete new factory-like version of Mac OS Big Sur on there. And uh, yeah, the second thing I showed you also in the install part is that, yes, you have the old MacBook Pros where it was really easy to boot from USB. You just plug it in, uh, push this uh, button on startup and you select uh, to boot from the USB, but since we have now the T2 security chip that was introduced uh, by Apple uh, quite a while ago, now that's the important distinction. Do you have still an old MacBook or do you have a new one with T2 security chip? And I showed you how to uh, enable the bootability from USB with that MacBook. Make sure to re-enable this security. So if for some reason you lose your uh, MacBook or for God forbid it gets stolen, then it's important to re-enable it because we temporarily uh, uh, lowered the security and now we want to put it up again since we have finished the fresh install. Guys, it's a trade-off. In the past, it was really, really easy. Um, I didn't know that myself uh, when I got that MacBook, so I was like really confused. I was just like approaching it from the way I always did it. I just took my USB stick, put it in, and I couldn't boot from it. So that's why I made this tutorial. I had to learn this myself too so that you save some time by just locking it up. And uh, yeah, awesome for tuning in guys. Let me know what other ideas you have for Mac Pro tutorials. And uh, I know this is useful and uh, take care until next time. And because you just watched one of my reviews, you might also be interested in comparing the products that I just showed you against, for example, this LG ultrawide 4K monitor, which is a 21 by nine aspect ratio. So normally the displays all have 16 by nine, but the ultra whites give you some extra flexibility and uh, especially the curved ones are great for gaming, but I'm more a video editing guy. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video, take care.